It's a bright. No, oh, actually, I can look on my phone because I'm on my GoPro. It's a bright. I do not want updates right now. Stop. Don't want to show everybody my passcode. Okay, now my phone won't swipe. Okay, AccuWeather. It's a bright. How do I? It's a bright 53 degrees out right now. So it's uh, it's bright, but it's kind of cold. Um, just coming out here. I cleaned up some of the chicken coop, but I just forgot that little plastic thing back there. I accidentally ran that over. But yeah, I, I put the chicks out in their little coop, and I give them a scoop of food every day, and um. I just leave them in this little thing and they can knock around in the grass. Keep in mind they are small, so I am going to use this food container too. No. I have bags to pick up in here and you always make a mess of them. Oh. You can see the um, the Brahmas are starting to really get their feathers in Gunner. Stop. Gunner? No. But. Gunner, stop. Gunner, come here, boy. Come on. Gunner. Gunner, get out. Gunner, get. Gunner. Oh, darn you. Gunner, you're making a mess of everything. Gunner. Come here. Get out. You already scared the checks. This bucket's full, I have to get food today, but I was feeding them corn because they're, they're big and then the chickens also need food too. We just recently ran out for them. And uh, we have something even bigger to show you guys. Um, this uh, field, we have a little bit of stuff growing around and um, yeah, I don't know what half of it is because some of it's different colored, but I'm starting to think it's turning into weeds, which I mean, I guess is fine, but I'm not gonna, if there's um, the alfalfa stuff over there, I'm gonna pick everything near it. But as long as something's growing, then it doesn't really matter. Because then I don't really care. Um, I'm zooming my camera. Oh, God darn it. Ham to the door. I put all this netting up in uh, advance for the ch uh, little chicks to come out here in about a week. But I think they'll be big enough that they won't need it. Yeah? You hungry? You hungry? Hmm? You guys hungry? Yeah, Mrs. Gray. That you're just starving, aren't you? <sighs> yeah. What you guys be? Um. Yeah, they can't come out here. Um. Well, for one, this uh, this little fence area broke, came off. One of the dogs. I mean, like, even my brother's dog or gunner ran through there, and then I uh. I seen my brother's dog. <laughs> he just he just was full tilt and he just boom ran right through there. Um so I'll have to fix this today or sometime, but happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Every mother. Um I hear the checks. Got any fresh eggs this morning? Don't we do? We do indeed a couple up here. Somebody's covering them with Sawdust, though, I don't know why. Hate how I always have to dig around. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we got um all of yesterday's and some of today, so I have to get the eggs at the end of the day. And little chicks look good. Yeah, you can see the white ones are starting to have their feathers on the back they're starting to get the they're starting to turn into uh white brahmas 
Gunner? No. Um. Here, I guess I could get a photo on my phone of a white Brahma chicken. Hold on. Wait. Brahm. Wait, Brahma chicken. Um, four weeks. Um, I don't know. We'll just get white Brahma chicken. To give you an idea, that's what it's starting to look like. It's starting to have its little um, feathers, the little black parts, but. We got a white version of that chicken right there. It's a white version of it, because that's the only brahmas they had. They're, uh, they're overall a good, just, you know, they only lay, uh, that's, they only laid, uh, was it 200 a year? We'll see. Oh, and, oh, they're egg and meat birds, though, too. I did not know that. They only lay 150 a year. Yeesh, better not let dad know that. Probably won't be happy, but no, I think Elvis <clears throat> Elvis lays probably 200 ish. Cause she she'll lay an egg every other day. Cause that's her egg for today. That's a big Elvis egg. Look at that. The size of that compared to a regular eyes of brown. Like Elvis is only supposed to lay small eggs. But get out. Come on, get out. We're gonna get out. Yeah, I guess that's the, the news. Um, I got my trusty, dusty hammer here for uh, fixing stuff. It's just an old rusty hammer that's already started the rest. I figured you can just keep it outside. But yeah, this fencing, we're going to have to fix this. Um, we'll wait for the checks to be there three weeks now. And I tested it yesterday through one of these holes. And uh, pretty much, there's only like three that can fit through, kind of some smaller ones. I We need to take care of you. We need to eat you, Spot. You're, you're being a little too mean. But, I mean, that's just a two-inch hole maybe, and they can just fit right through it. It's a little rectangle. So, we kind of have to wait for them. But I put this netting down at the bottom. I was thinking, oh, well, you know, it's supposed to be 85 degrees out as the top for the rest of this week. At least I thought. And then it gets down to 45 at the last second. So I was like, oh, I can't move the chicks out here. That's that's too cold, you know. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of... These are from all the uh, fence because they kept on getting knocked down. And then I just haven't cut them off yet. But, you know, the fence is good. But the chickens learned how to fly over it. So this this is gonna do no good. We're we're gonna have to put something else in here. Look, spots stuck up in it. Oh, he got himself unstuck. But uh, yeah, it's only thing that sucks about this fencing is, I mean, it's it's only waist high pretty much, and they can just fly right over it. Where the back side, we had some other netting, but. I'll show you guys the back side. They never got out of the back side because they can never fly over it. Now, the back side back here, it's it's still it's a little higher than waist high. Gunner, buddy, are you brain dead or something? Oh, something poked a hole right through here. Huh? Yeah, we have a lot of work to do. We might just restart over or not even do anything. But, you know, you could say, oh, yeah, it's waist high. But really? It's about stomach high on me. It's it's pretty it's pretty high. It's probably just wrap this around the whole thing. And then none of the chickens would have got out. But they already learned how to fly over that. And this is only like a foot taller. So I'm sure they'd learn how to fly over that. So pretty much stuck because... I keep getting into the neighbor's flowers and we have to keep them locked in, which kind of sucks to lock them in this little pen area. And it's your guys' fault too. Just saying, your guys' fault. 
I'm actually gonna step over. Let's go take a look at this, um, this rock here. So now we get out, Mary. Um, these weeds and see. Like I accidentally, and this is the only reason I think these aren't weeds is I accidentally um, spilt some, but they're starting to turn out to look like weeds. But um. What's that one I saw that was sprouting? This. That's turning into a weed, but it has three. This only has two. So I don't know what that alfalfa seed is supposed to look like, but it's supposed to kind of look like this, I think. These might be weeds, but those are only two-pronged. I don't know what's going to grow in here. We have to give it another two weeks to really see but i think everything's sprouted up because well one i wrote a tilled it off but um hoping either grass or the alfalfa seed or something i don't really want weeds to grow in here but i mean i i guess weeds can grow i i mean as long as pheasants would eat that then i guess i don't think it really matters this is where this bucket's been i'm looking for this i used it for feed for the Ooh, yeah, I gotta wash that out. But use that for water for the pheasants or meat chickens, I think it was. Ooh, oh, that thing's... Wow, that thing smells. Yeah, you can see the hole in the <laughs> the ground. <laughs> oh, golly. We're, uh, we, we're thinking about getting meat chickens um, here pretty quick. But we still haven't decided. No, Rusty, you don't get to come out. Then... Bad chickens. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Do you make sure you guys like, subscribe, and the bell for post notifications. We'll, uh, we'll catch you guys next time on Weed Farms.